The parents of the 16-year-old girl who was shot by a fellow classmate at Great Mills High School say her wounds were too severe and sadly reported she would not recover. Jalen Willie's mother notifying the media tonight. WJZ is live. George Solis has more on this tragic update. George. Good evening, Mary. The update from the Willie family given from the Prince George's Hospital where Jalen had been fighting for her life. Melissa Willie telling reporters tonight that her daughter would not make it this as we're learning more about the accused shooter in the case. Visibly upset, the parents of 16 year old Great Mills High School shooting victim Jalen Willie approached the hospital podium to provide an update on her condition none wanted to hear. She will not make it. We will be. Um, taking her off life support this evening. Willie had been in recovery after being shot in the head during Tuesday's school shooting. Authorities say was carried out by 17-year-old Austin Rollins using a gun that was legally owned by his father. She's she's brain dead um, and has nothing, no life left in her. The St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office has said the shooting, which also left 14-year-old Desmond Barnes wounded, was not a random act of violence. On Wednesday, the sheriff's office revealing that Rollins and Willie had been in a relationship that had recently ended. Melissa Willie referencing Rollins only once. My daughter was hurt by a boy who shot her in the head. And, 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 and took everything from our lives. The investigation into the shooting remains active. So far, investigators say they haven't found any threats that would have given prior warning of a coming attack. Deputy First Class Blaine Gaskell is being credited as the hero who stopped Rollins firing a single shot during the encounter. It still remains unclear, however, whether Rollins was killed by that bullet or if he took his own life. Students who were there now reflecting on the horror. If he wasn't there, he probably would have, I don't know what he would have done. What is certain, lives are forever changed. It, it will be different forever. Very sad. Jalen Willie was one of nine children, the second oldest in her family. She was also a member of the high school swim team. We're live tonight. George Solis reporting for WJZ. George, so sad. Thank you. The family also thanked the medical staff and the community for all their support.